she would say, Miss Cherry, me not have anything and I not work. But me not know how this way help the church. And nobody ever knows that Miss Vida pushed something in my hand for the church. She is so much of a secretive woman where that is concerned. Karen, you know me, Miss? Miss Vida Vincent Young Men. Miss Vida grows the sweetest Vincent Young in Kentucky. And she planted it right down there by the home. And it was just when we went to the grave digging the other day, and I was there and looking around and looking around. He said, No, I know why the young, natural, organic earth. No mixture of anything, no fertilizer, nothing at all, no spray. The earth was just natural. Miss Vida, your place will never be filled, no matter how your family try. Because she was genuine, pretends go do it. At this time, we're going to have the hymn, Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder, consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, that pour throughout the universe display. Please stand. <laughs>
we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, the Almighty God, that we have hope in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that you are the God that cannot and will never fail. Oh God, we join with the songwriter. When you will come, Almighty God, with shouts of acclamation, that we'll bow humbly to adore your Almighty God because of your awesomeness. Today we give you praises, we give you honor, we give you glory. Father, we pray today, Almighty God, not for the dead, but for the living. I pray, Almighty God, if there's anyone here today who have not yet met you as their personal Lord and Savior, Father God, we pray that before the culmination of this service, that that person or those persons, Almighty God, will find it fit, Almighty God, and see it necessary to give their lives to you and the Father, because they deserve to be praised. They deserve to be served. Father, we thank you. We honor your blessed holy name, blessed Savior. Touch somebody today, Almighty God. Let somebody's heart, Almighty God, be rekindled for you today. Let somebody's heart be troubled today, Almighty God. Knowing that if, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Knowing, Almighty God, that they could be lying in the casket today. So, Father, we pray, bother somebody's heart, bother somebody's conscience today, that they, Almighty God, will look deeper in themselves. Knowing, Almighty God, that death is totally inevitable. Father, we thank you. We honor your name, Lord God. As we commit today's service into your precious hands, touch, deliver, set free, Almighty God, and save by your spirit in Jesus' mighty name. And the church says, Amen. Amen. Praise God. The first lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 50 to 58, and this will be read by DJ Grant, great granddaughter of Miss Vida, DJ Grant. Good morning, everyone. DJ is not feeling up to it, so my name is Bella, and that's all I am. And we have a sister. The first lesson is taken from 1 Corinthians 15. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last triumph, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall rise, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must, must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the word of the Lord. For as much as we know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Thank you. Thanks be to God. Will you continue to worship the Lord? And we are going to sing Psalm 23 and we sing it to the tune of the happy wonder. The Lord's my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastures green, he leadeth me 
the quiet water is fine. And I'm going to tell you to sit down and just sing this one. you on 
to myself that where I am, there he may be also. And whether I go, he know. And the way he know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father. I, the gentleman just spoke to me, Pauline is about to be on the phone to her daughter to give the treatment, so. Life, 
and yet for others to do as well. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is here. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God will transcend all understanding, will guide your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And I can hear her talking this to me as a guide for my life. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent, or for your think about such things. Whatever you have learned, or or heard from me, or seen in me, put it into practice. And the God of peace, and the God of peace will be able to get On the top of my mother, the word Karen, Mark, Ashley, Brianna, Latoya, Anita, Delano, Odette, Robert Jr., Ishmael, Maria, Jamulia, Dijane, Keishan, Devante, Lizzie, thank you for your love, your patience, your kindness. And Auntie Vida, we love you and we will miss you.
As I said earlier on, I apologize for the absence of the minister. But because the work of God must go on, I have managed, as always, to get my friend. He's a friend of mine. Very good friend. And where I know he's such a good friend is that whenever I called, he never says no. And I called him about two weeks ago and asked him, and then he said I should remind him. And I think it was Sunday, I called him to remind him, and then he said, you don't have to remember me. You don't have to remind me. I remember. And then, because I'm the type of person who has to make sure that everything is okay, when I was here in church this morning, I called him again. And he said, I'm going to take a shower. And I said, Pastor Grant, Pastor Grant, don't let me have the queen's your neck be here before 10 o'clock and I'm happy he's here so the church I now present Pastor Grant to you in Jesus name praise the Lord in spite of the circumstances let us shout hallelujah we serve a living God. Amen. Sister um, Sister Leslie, she's resting in the arms of Jesus. But we are here and we are alive. And in spite of it all, we are giving God thanks for the gift of life. And we are giving God thanks for a life we well live. Not you, amen. A life, listen to what I what I heard. And I know Sister Leslie very well. I have been coming to Kentucky uh, 31 years now. I am serving in this area. I remember walking into Kentucky. The first time I came here was in 1987 when I was invited to church. And I traveled that way. And I had a right to cave flat. And then after I saw a gentleman and asked him if he could take me up here, he started the journey and as he just about a mile or two, about a mile, a little less than a mile, yes. He said to me, sir, boy, the road is not easy at all. You know, he won't make it. And I stopped the journey and put that Sunday morning. Oh, Lord. Sometimes I have to stop and sleep, and sometimes I have to stop and rest, but I never give up. I journey all the way here. And so I took, and until I started to ride bikes, I started to ride here, until I started to drive, and I'm still coming here. And I want to say to my friend and colleagues, Justice and Minister for. I always say yes to her. I remember when she asked, I said yes. But after when I said yes to her, I realized that I should say no. But I already said yes. I remember saying, Lord, but my good friend and he serves on some of the board that I am on, Mr. Jones, his, funeral, his wife in our service today, this morning. That's why the our Augustus is not here, the Reverend Canon Perry. But however, I say yes to Minister Foot so I can change. And I'm so glad that I am here. And I want to extend, on behalf of my immediate family and the church family over here in Kentucky and otherwise, to you, the bereaved family, our deepest and profound sympathy to you of the passing of your loved one. May God bless you as we pray for you and may God give you comfort as you go through your moment of grief. 